Today is Makeover Monday. Thought I would get ready with you. I've already prepped my skin as far as vitamin C and sunscreen. I always like to start out with my setting spray. I love the hydration that our setting spray gives and I use the same perfecter to blend out my makeup. Start out with a little bit of color corrector. I'm using Mango for my color corrector. All it does is just cuts down the pinky, purpley color that I have on my cheeks and my chin. I'm not putting enough product to cover it like a foundation. I'm just prepping my skin by smoothing away a little bit of that pink and purple. So you can probably see the difference in just that little bit, little tiny bit of product. Uh, I need to clean, I need to clean this brush. All clean. I go into my all over shade of highlight and I just tap it on all over my skin. Just kind of evens out your skin really beautifully. Using the same brush, I'm going to go into my bronzer. I'm actually tapping into Bella and tan lines together and just giving myself a little bit of bronzing right on the high points of my cheeks. And that just warms up the skin just a little bit and I just really like putting it on at this point in my makeup. Switching brushes here for the first time, I'm gonna go in with my detail brush to my contour. I've been applying my contour under my cheekbone again recently instead of directly on it. I just kind of like to switch it up every once in a while. You can actually feel that cheekbone right there. So I'm just going right under it. I had some alcohol last night because um, we went out with friends and I also had some chips with our dinner. So I'm feeling a little puffy this morning. Very thankful for some contour, especially this area. I really notice it when I'm like a little puffy. Now, this is the point where I do my eyebrows, but this is how I do it. Using the line brush, I'm using the shade Labyrinth to fill them in. And then I go back with Salem, just a little touch of Salem. Then I fill in a little bit more here at the front so that it looks really natural. Put a little bit of highlight foundation on my eyelids to prep them for just a tiny bit of shadow today. And I will take my perfecter, blend off the excess product that I don't want to settle into my crepiness on my eyelids. I've been using this wash brush to apply a little bit of my eyeshadow recently. Just got this and I really like it. Let's do just a little bit of chai in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna apply some drift. You're just looking for like a shimmer, light shimmer shade that goes with everything. Drift is your go-to. I like to pick up this brush from e.l.f. Let's do a little bit of Philly as eyeliner. Let's just apply our City Beauty today. Don't need much of this mascara. It's a very pigmented, wet mascara. Don't need very much. I do have an affiliate link and a discount code for this mascara if you're looking for a good mascara. One thing I love about this mascara is it does not transfer flake or give me raccoon eyes, which is a very big deal for me. I have really oily eyelids. I find a mascara that doesn't transfer. I know it's a winner. Let's do some blush first. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the cherry. So the cherry is the this one right here and it smells like cherry. It's a limited edition, but it's not going to be around forever. It's only around while it lasts. Let's put a little bit on my lips. It gives my lips like a stain look instead of like a lipstick look, which I actually really like that. Let's brighten and around my eyes just a little bit. I like to use the smudge brush to do my brightening. See how it's like bubbled right there? That shows you that there's still setting spray, some product there. So I'm gonna take that perfecter with that little bit of setting spray and I'm just gonna go in and perfect so that I don't have excess product settling in to those fine lines. I'm gonna take some of my City Beauty Plumping Lip Gloss. Again, I have an affiliate link and a discount code if you are interested in this lip gloss. They have a lot of really great glosses to choose from. Thanks for following along as I got ready on this Makeover Monday, and I'll put shopping links, all the things if you are interested in checking out these Saint products. I hope you have a great start to your week, and I'll see you later.